What's going on YouTube? This is iTalk. Here and in today's video, we have a brand new video. So today we're going to be talking about three things that I thought you guys would be interested in. So the first thing we're going to talk about today is that the Out West emote will be available tonight on August 7th of 2020. Just so you guys know that TikTok emote is going to be in the item shop and I hope I don't get copyright striked for it like I did with the Renegade emote. I might not be allowed to actually just show the emote. What I'll probably do is I'll show the whole emote in full on the item shop and then I'll have to have that audio muted and then when I show it off again, you'll hear some of the audio. I can't play a ton of it because I don't want to get striked on my own channel. Second thing I want to talk about today is that the Hulk hands are now made available if you have the PS4 and you bought the pre-order. Yes, the pre-order again is $60 for you to get the pre-order for the Avengers game on PS4. The free beta for the PS4 will be made available in a week, and the paid Xbox beta will be available in a week, and then in two weeks, the Xbox and PS4 betas will both be free for you guys to get on Xbox One as well as PS4. If you guys link your Square Enix accounts, even Fortnite put out a video on how to do that, you guys should be able to get the Hulk hands after you get the three harm challenges done. Now. I'm going to just give you guys my full little experience with the whole beta. I think it's fun. It's a button masher of sorts. It kind of reminds me of like Arkham City with like the melee and all the combat associated with it. It's a fun time, but I will say it is a long beta. The campaign will take around two hours for you to complete. And once you complete the beta, you'll be at this little station here where you have to complete the snowy tundra, I believe it's called. And then once you beat that, you will unlock the harm training area and then you have to complete the harm room one two and three and then you will get the pickaxes that way pretty self-explanatory but it did take me a while it took me around two and a half to three hours for me to actually finally get these things because the campaign took a while and the three harm stages are actually kind of tough the third one especially is very difficult just use your ai the ai will definitely help you out with that you don't need to fully worry about it yourself don't go in stupid or anything like that just play safe nearing the end if you're going to die because you only have a limited amount of lives for those so play it smart and you should easily be able to get this done again you have to pay for this beta if you do want it if you want the whole cans but you want them to be free you have to wait a week if you're on ps4 and then you have to wait two weeks if you're on xbox one and the xbox one pre-order beta where you have to pay the game in full price will be made available next week and then it will be in the item shop later on and it'll be worth 1200 v bucks and my full opinion on that i don't think it's that bad of a price it really isn't the animations are really cool with the pickaxe and everything and i love the sound and impact on every, everything so i think it's worth the 1200 v bucks for sure so if you only have a pc and you have to get it this way it's really not that bad of the price i think it'll be worth the price and the last thing i wanted to talk about today is the cars i wanted to talk about these yesterday but i was still playing the game and i wanted to just fully get my full thoughts on the cars and in my opinion i love them if anything i wish we had these in chapter 2 season 1 i think the cars would have benefited greatly if we had them back then but i'm very happy that we just have them now they have copyrighted music in these cars i wasn't expecting them to do that especially with the songs that they picked like they have lucid dreams by juice world they have a lot by 21 savage which hearing 21 savage in this game is very weird it's very off-putting a lot of the songs they picked is very off-putting. They even put Gangnam Style by Psy in this. Who remembers that song, right? The cars are a fun addition. I love the interactivity you get with them. I think my opinion on them, though, is that I think they might do a little bit too much damage. In my personal opinion, I think they just do a little bit too much damage, and they're very, very loud. I play on Fortnite a very low volume, and the cars still blast my ears out, even when they're not even that close to me. I think they need to lower the volume on the cars a bit, but we're still working with them. We're still trying to see how we can get these realized in the game and everything, so I'm enjoying the cars. I think they were definitely worth the wait, but... It would have been great if we did have them a bit sooner. And also, I should mention this as well. The radios are now in the boats as well as the choppers, which is great. Adds some variety to the game. And there's already been leaks that it's going to be different songs every so often. It's not going to be the same songs all the time. They're going to swap some songs out, which is pretty good. I'm glad because I think the radio would got kind of boring if it was always the same songs for however long. And I kind of want to mention the cars as well for one final thing. I don't know if it's really related to the cars, but I don't think the season's going to get a delay. I know really random thing for me to bring up, but the cars I thought were going to take 
a lot longer, right? And with this season, I feel like because they're already working on the 14.1 update, the 14.10 update rather, since they're working on that already, are they are we not getting a delay this season? And if that's the case, I feel like the season went by too fast considering how often we've been getting delays on seasons for these past, I mean, year, year and a half now. I was expecting the season to go longer, but if it just ends when it's supposed to end on August 27th, 2020, I'm going to be genuinely shocked. This is going to be the shortest season we have had in a while. And I think Fortnite has got their act together. I think Fortnite may have actually figured out what they're doing and actually I'm working ahead of time. Like I, I've said this before on the podcast, how I loved it when I was able to get into a rhythm of uploading content daily just by having scheduled uploads having them done all in one day and then having them scheduled out for the next day and then the next day and i really should get back on that trend honestly but i feel like fortnite has found their footing and if there is no delay i don't want to jinx it i already feel like i kind of did but if there is no delay then maybe we'll get the next season on the 28th who really knows but yeah kind of went off on a random tangent there but yes i am very excited for the things to come with this game and i hope you guys are too so that'll be it for the video today guys so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did let me know the like but only if you enjoy the content subscribe to the channel if you're brand new and turn on the bell just so you get all my latest uploads and comment down below what do you think about what i talked about today are you excited for the new out west emote what do you think about the whole cans being in the game now what are your thoughts on the cars i would love to know follow me on twitter at italkfortnite follow me on instagram i can talk fortnite and if you'd like to use me for supporter creator my code is italkfortnite i don't know why i'm talking so fast but yeah That'll be it for the video today, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll see you later. Peace.